Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Hi, Jamie. 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 Hey, Jamie. What's up, Jamie? Happy birthday, Jamie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jamie. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Happy 20th birthday. Congrats on making it this far, considering all of the stupid things you've done in the past. That's pretty impressive. I mean, that's what I love about you. You're always so spontaneous and down to literally do anything. And we have so many crazy memories together. Uh, one of them being at that time we danced on the table and then you kind of fell because of me and I kind of tore your ACL. But other than that, like the crazy things that we did is what creates good story. Oh, well, entertaining stories and memorable memories. Um, and that's all that matters. Like, that's what you told me. And I was never afraid to put myself out there because of that. So, in the light of your birthday, here are some of people's or your friends' favorite memories of you. Oh, and the birthday wishes, of course. So we've met two summers ago in UBSC, and we've grown to be great friends since then. And I really appreciate you as both a mentor and as a friend. You've helped me through a lot of tough times and gave me a lot of good guidance. And we've had a lot of fun together. And one thing that I would always remember is that is how we went and bought the um, contraband for a menu and, and also uh, last summer when I would usually come by your house after my ACT session to work on UBSC and when we made that um, cake thingy mm. anyway I'm really awkward at doing videos so I prefer to take actions more than speak so I expect cash on you when you get back and I'll be there as the best party wingman ever I don't even know where the fuck you is why are you not back here yet? get the fuck back here but hello I am Yao right now I'm in fucking quarantine and it's hot as shit in Hanoi but anyways enough about me so happy fucking birthday you bitch like you're like what 20 right now yeah but man so my memory with you is let me see hmm. There's like, we've, we've been so much together um, from the Boston time to like fucking Hanoi and like just every summer spending together and like just go and eat like a bunch of shit like my perception of you as a person is like you're so fucking carefree kiểu tập đéo thấy mày giận luôn á mỗi lần mà kiểu có chuyện gì ở trong nội bộ thì gì I feel you're always like the one that's so shit and you're also so fucking giggly and so appreciative appreciative of my bad place which I fucking like love you so much <laughs> unfortunately like I've lost my ability to make puns but then anyways you know that mỗi lần đi quậy hay đi quậy mẹ gì no matter how many injuries you got you still go mày quậy mày cũng đi mày bị đau bao tử mày cũng đi mày uống mày cũng uống mày uống xong mày ói mày uống nữa like what the fuck but yeah girl continue to be carefree like that and I love you so much hope to see you soon you need to play darts and yes Congratulations, because, you know, we went way back to the fucking pool to menu doing the stupid yoga thing with Sam, haha, <laughs> whatever, people will question this, it's for a good time, but yeah, happy birthday, fucking hustle, do well in business school in your frat, and don't die. For stupid reasons, maybe alcohol. I don't know we. Miss you lots. Um, I hope you're safe in Boston. If you're dead, then well, can I have your cat at least? <laughs> um, anyways, um, I have a lot of memories with you because we've known each other for give or take ten years, but um. It's always fun when we bring up how we used to like absolutely hate each other and now we're kind of best friends so um, here's for 10 more years hopefully <laughs> I miss you so much you're getting so old you're turning 20 
your old lady um i miss you so 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 much um i miss us going and eating all the time together and i miss us talking about life and you're literally one of my closest closest friends at bu and closest friends for life forever because i love you and i'm so lucky that i get to be one of your friends you are literally one of the kindest and most selfless people i know and that's a fact um you know i really miss us studying in the study lounge and eating bbq chicken and i also miss us just walking to GSU together and talking about random things. Like you're you're so easy to talk to. I think that's why we became such good friends so quickly because I don't know, we just talk about everything. And I love it so much and I miss you and I miss your energy and I miss being with you and eating with you and I miss the food, but I miss you more. And have a great birthday cuz you deserve it. I love you so much. Bye. Anyways, happy you have a blast celebrating. You're fucking 20 now. That's kind of weird. But <laughs> my favorite moment of you. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! <laughs> my favorite memory of you is like when we were at the lab and like I pretended to pass out on balloons with like John. And John caught me and he was like, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. Just shows how much of a caring friend you are and a caretaker friend you are. Thank you for being you. Keep being you. Take care. Bye. Congratulations on surviving the past 20 years without burning yourself or just get hit by the tea. But um, you made it 20 years going strong. Um, so I just want to let you know that I'm super grateful for having such an amazing friend like you in my life and I know it's disappointing that you're not celebrating your birthday at home with um, your family just being in Vietnam but I know that you um, are optimistic, you're positive um, and I believe that you found a way to celebrate your special day so happy 20th, enjoy your day, love you! I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, I know even though we've only met a handful of times, I'd still like to wish you a happy birthday and I hope I'll be seeing you more in the future. Happy birthday, Jamie. Thank you so much for showing me all of these great places to eat because that is now my favorite Hu Tiu place and nothing, I mean nothing can top it. Every time I have a friend that comes over from foreign areas, I always take them to the place that you showed me. I will never forget that trip that we had at 2 a.m. right after clubbing where we went to eat there and it was honestly one of the best times I had that summer. I miss you so much, I can't wait to see you again. Happy birthday! Um, have a blast birthday with your friends, your family. Uh, Years is going to be um, great for you. Um, I met you at USBC. USC. Uh, yeah, you're a really cool, kind, funny person. Um, yeah. I hope. Uh, I wish you. I wish you the best. I wish you. I don't know what to say, honestly, but. Uh, yeah, last birthday, enjoy, stay safe, stay sane, hope to see you soon. Jamie, QDTV, shit I fucked that up the night. Happy birthday, holy crap, I can't believe you're already turning 20, I feel like I just met you, but I also feel like I've known you for like 5 years, it's kind of crazy, but I just want to take this time to say thank you. I literally have the best little ever. Also, where's the camera? The camera's right there. Okay. I have the best little ever. And not only are you my amazing little, but you're such a good friend to me. And I can't imagine, I just, I literally just can't imagine my life without you at BU, but even outside of BU, I can't imagine my life without you. And I really appreciate you always baking for me when I'm stressed out, which is like 90% of my life, existence, I'm always stressed out and you're always comforting me and I just really enjoy our little dates when we cook food together and watch really random movies and just laugh about the stupidest things ever and I'm just so happy because 
I mean, with everything going on, things have been very difficult, you know. There has been a lot of really unfortunate and sad things going on, but I think one thing that I got out of this was being able to spend more time with you this semester because of COVID-19 and like quarantine. Also, my neighbors are so fucking loud. What the fuck? Anyway, you know them. They're the one. But yeah, you're the most selfless person that I know. You're so compassionate. You are so loving and so hardworking, so selfless, and I can't just compare you with anyone you are just incredible i feel you don't give yourself enough credit so just know how amazing you are and i'm so excited to be able to spend your birthday or like the day after or before with you and get drunk with you and have a good time and i just love you so much and thank you for all that you do and i can't wait till i can do the silly sam with you in like two days i love you Yes, I cut bangs. It look kind of weird, but I'm gonna just gonna roll with it. My favorite memory with you is when you, Mac, and Hop threw me a surprise birthday party. I know you guys want to plan it like big and fun and all, but it turned out to be small and cozy, just like me. But it's literally one of my best birthday ever, and I'm so lucky to have you as a friend. And I miss your cripple ass leg. Come back soon. I miss you. Mwah. Chúc mừng sinh nhật bé Jimmy. It's only fitting because your birthday is on children's day. But to be honest, I have never seen you as younger than me. Honestly, I look up to you instead because I always think you're so mature. You have such a cool, badass personality. And I know you're just going to go so far in life because how driven, ambitious, and just you as a person. And every time we go out, I have so much fun because you always stick by me. You would ditch guys for me. And I'm so grateful to have you as a friend. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day celebrating with whoever you're with and we will we will celebrate soon when we can also that's my dog he made a cameo i am so glad i met you last summer and got to know you better because one of my favorite memory of that whole summer and of us together in general was uh that one time at vin and mike's apartment when worlds fucking collide and we were all hanging out on that balcony, smoking that joy, just listening to music and chilling and talking. And honestly, life was good, you know? And I have to apologize for uh, reeling you in to my basketball player matchmaking scheme that I had going on, but it made for good times and I got to know you better as well. So if anything, fuck them. We're, we're where it's at. <laughs> So I hope you're having a great day again and we'll celebrate when we can. I love you. Bye. I wish there wasn't a pandemic right now so we could be fucking shit up and numb, but you know, life's life. I hope you have the best birthday ever and I wanted to thank you for being one of the most welcoming and fun people I know. Thank you for brightening up my life. I miss you. Stay safe. Happy birthday. The big 2-0, I guess. I don't know. Two decades. Uh... I haven't known you for a while, only since last summer, but the times we had together was a lot of fun. I don't know if you even remember me because it's impossible to get in contact with you because of how good you text, but now that I have your attention, I'm just gonna say everything I texted you, but you never replied. So, hmm, let's see. Are you free on? September 23rd. We should go get coffee then. Let's see. What else should I say? Hmm. Hmm. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, happy Halloween. What else? No, that's about it, I guess. Uh, I don't know. All jokes aside, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope that. This year brings you a lot of joy and happiness. Okay, happy birthday. I wish we were together to celebrate with you today, but unfortunately you're still stuck 
in the US, but I hope however you're celebrating today, you're staying safe, you're having fun, and you're drinking a lot responsibly. We'll definitely pour a drink out for you here. Um, my first and favorite memory of us, I guess, was when you first joined UBSC and I told you that I had a huge friend crush on you because like, I felt like we were really similar and you reminded me a lot of myself. And I think like ever since I've always seen you as like a little sister, I just like want to protect you all the time and I want whatever's best for you all the time. And I remember that one conversation we had about BU and like I was telling you all the things I liked about it and it made me so, so, so happy that you said that that was one of the reasons why you chose to came to BU because I definitely see you there and like I'm so happy to have you around. I hope like you made the right decision, but like either way, I'm so glad to have you there. And I don't, I'm not always around or I don't always tell you this, but I think you're such a special person. And like, like I said, like I see you as like a little sister and you're just like so fun. You're so caring and nice to everyone around you. Like it, that energy is so obvious. And oh my God, I'm talking a lot. Um, Yeah, you're just, an inc incredible person and I look up to you and I love you a lot. Happy birthday. Um, just want to take this time to thank you for everything that you've done for everyone and everything you've done for me. Um, you are so caring and accommodating and such a fun person to be around. So thank you for all the memories. Um, and, and yeah, um, I've known you for such a long time now, I think. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, and you've changed and grown so much over the years. So I can only imagine that this year will be um, another great year for you. Um, yeah, also just wanted to remind you that everyone loves you and I love you. Um, so I hope you have the bestest day. I'm sure you will. Um, and I will see you in Vietnam. I want to give you a hug right now, but I can't, so... Here. Love you, Jamie! Thiệt quá nha! Lần này sinh nhờ không có tổ chức ở Việt Nam. But it's fine. When you come back, we go everywhere. Home, commas, uh, cocktail, but not Buddha bar. Um, uh, 96, wherever. Texas, but remember, no Buddha bar. Chúc mày sinh nhật tụ lưới. Um, có nhiều sức khỏe nè, học hành chăm chỉ nè, uh, hãy hạnh phúc bên người yêu nè, vạn sự như ý nè. Với lại đừng có chết ao nha, thì chết ao là ngày này nhăn già sớm đó. Anyways, I miss you, bitch. Happy birthday. I hope you enjoy my TikTok. So one day we booked an Airbnb together in Long Island City. I mean, we always do spend breaks together. Cause like who else would I spend break with the fuck? It was a pretty old and spooky Airbnb. We went to bed together and at around 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning, <coughs> we were woken up by this loud noise it was like metal against metal like it was as if somebody had like a big rod and hit it into a metal heater because that's where the noise was coming from right it was coming out of the heater like bam 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 maybe i'll put the sound effect in but we both woke up and we were like, what the fuck? We got scared. Should we call the landlord? Text them. Like, nobody's awake right now. Like, how can we fix this? How can we go to bed? <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I only remembered that we spent the entire night just laughing and talking. I don't remember being scared looking back at that night and it's crazy because if it had been another person like anybody else but you I don't think it would have been the same experience anyways 
Yeah. Say bye. Say goodbye.